What's up, everybody? This is Cyberdrox5436 here, and today we have a new pet video for you guys. I've tried to do this video three times, but I've either been disrupted or, you know, something happened. So, um, finally, this might happen on this, um, try. So, this is my new bearded dragon, Beardy. He is so cute. I've had him for eight days. I got him last week on Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. So, from PetSmart. And he is a juvenile. He is six months old. And he is, um, a male. You see, I just leaned out his tank. But, um, something, so he or some of the crickets or something got, um, some food everywhere. But, um, he really, really likes his bridge. And he has two, um, lights. This one is for over here which he barely goes this one is for right here and for the um night time I switch I switch this one out with a this red bulb and I turn this one off so the temperature drops a couple of degrees so um also I will I mean before I start with that he's um way too small like I'm gonna wait until he's a little bigger to try handling him because I did and he got really scared so um, we're gonna try that later, but, um, so, also in this video I'm going to tell, tell you guys some care guides for your bearded dragon, so, that's what you always want to do, so, alright, I, I even made a chart for you guys, um, uh, you guys should maybe take a picture if you guys want to, here it is, alright, it's, his name's Beardy, if I didn't mention Beardy's diet and general information. So, I copied it down from a book, but, um, I wanted every, um, every good information. So, insects will be 60% of their diet as a, um, as a juvenile. Greens, like vegetables and stuff, will be 40% of their diet. I think, I think when they get older, I think it'll switch around, so they'll eat more greens. So, for insects, they can eat crickets, grasshoppers, which surprise me, mealworms, and earthworms. And I do not recommend feeding them mealworms, like, when they're this size, because I heard it's a little too much for them when they're this small. So, uh, just wait till they get a little bit. They also like superworms. Um, greens, 40% of diet. Turnip greens, collard greens, spinach, mustard greens, kale, cord, chicory, I think that is. I can, I can barely even read my handwriting. Esterol Boston lettuce, not iceberg. We do not want iceberg. Um, other vegetables and fruits, this just goes for the 40%. Occasionally in small pieces, so you want, um, you can give them grated carrots, tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, apples, pears, bananas, grapes, oranges, cor cooked potatoes, peas, beans, strawberries, and melon. Also, um, I put just something else to note, to note, his day temperature should be 80 80 degrees Fahrenheit, not over 100 degrees. Night temperature should be 75 degrees, not below 65. And spray tank lightly once in the evening. So, that's just some general information, mostly his diet. I just put some stuff to remember at the bottom. So, I think this has worked out pretty good. Alright, and his humidity range should be at the lowest of 30%. Okay. So, here's my spray bottle. He actually kind of likes to be sprayed, I think. It's not like my old leopard gecko who would kind of go crazy. I know, it's not the evening, but he kind of likes it. I can't really tell. He obviously isn't going crazy, but, um... So, um, here was supposed to be his basking spot, but he likes his bridge so much more. I have to, like, almost put him over there just to introduce it. He kind of likes this plant. He kind of likes to sleep on it. He did, like, a couple of times. I've noticed a lot in the last eight days. Um, this is his thermometer. It says around 85. So, which is okay. It can only go 15 degrees more for it to be blazing. So, here's his food. It's bearded dragon food. They might not eat it, which mine, um, beardy, my beardy is eating it a little bit, not much. Obviously, no need to even say what that is. It's water. Okay. So now we're going to go down here, um, don't mind this, this was his old, um, heating lamp, which got, it was kind of, um, old and just not working much anymore. I'm just gonna put that down here. How about that? Okay. So, this was used as, like, I didn't even use it as decoration, I just kind of liked it at PetSmart. We got, use it for a hermit crab. So, um, I kind of put some stuff in here, and... I know, I rinse, this was all for my leopard gecko and how he, um, 
passed away and everything, so, um, just let's not worry about that. So, um, here's some calcium, just some liquid calcium. I like to put it in a spray bottle and his water. Okay, here is the stuff that I put in his water, the main chemicals, just like one little drop. And bearded dragon food, that's what you guys saw out there. This comes in every Zoomed, I think Zoomed, um, bulb. Every Zoomed bulb. It's really cool. Yeah, Zoomed. And it even says bearded dragon. Um, let me find it. Okay, it's actually right at the top. So, if you want to read over that. Sorry if it's blurry. Okay, there we go. Alright, um, there we go. Hope you had a little minute to read over that. I kind of, I hope I told you most things about that. Okay, here's what we got from Bedsmart. Zoonosis, I think it is. Okay. Well, you guys know, I'm pretty sure you know, I know, I'm not your mom, but li li reptiles especially, and most most animals that you get do pa can pass diseases to people. That is why whenever you are handling your lizard, after and I recommend before, just so he doesn't get any of your germs, wash, wash your hands. Trust me, it will benefit. You guys, um, there's not too much about, like, reptiles in here, I think, but, um, I th they just gave this for f to me for free, so, um, let's find. Amphibians, birds, fish, mammals, reptiles, instant, intestine. Intestinal bacteria, salmonella. Uh, yes, there it is. Um, rat bite fever. I'm sure that isn't in reptiles. All right, I found this one's for worms, tapeworms. I didn't know. I actually didn't know reptiles could eat tapeworms. Um, so just one thing to note. I know you guys have probably heard, and if you guys haven't, you guys need a lot more research on reptiles. Um, if you guys are going to get a pet bearded dragon. Okay, down here. This, this is where I put his other bulb, like, this is his nighttime one, which I switched out. Um, this was all for my leopard gecko, just don't worry about that. I'll get to those in a minute. Um, here's, his, here's the cricket, which you already saw, dun da da Here's his, uh, the cricket food, or is, where is their water? It's not, oh, the water's all the way back there, you see? It's not water, it's like this liquid stuff, which gives them water, because crickets are kind of dumb enough, they'll just drown. Okay, <clears throat> the moment you've probably all been waiting for, um, the crickets, yes. I put them in their own separate container, and then I put Beardy in that container and time him for about five minutes, because you don't want him to overeat, but it's better than him for not eating at all. I just got them today, I know, I think one of them died already. But, um, so, it's good for them to have egg cartons, and Beardy's very quick, so, yeah. But, um... And Bearded Dragon lifespan is about 8 to 10 years if cared for properly. If not, they're not going to live very long. But, um, that is why with any pet you want to take good care of them. Alright, well, this pretty much concludes our video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!